Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to you guys. So today we're going to be exploring three roles. They are fully remote positions and also data entry positions, okay? One thing we're going to be doing as a bonus in this video today is I'm going to be showing you guys how I kind of tailor my resume per job. And that would be based on the job description for that particular job. Because I feel that way it helps your resume stand out and also makes your resume specific to the job you're applying for. Okay. All right. So the first one we're going to be reviewing is called provider data specialist. It is a temporary role, but it's fully remote. What you're going to be responsible for is various provider data activities related to provider network operations. Okay. They are asking for a high school diploma. Bachelor's degree is preferred, but it's not a requirement. One to three years of experience working with claims. One to three years of experience doing data entry and so forth. So one of the things I'm going to be doing with you guys, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, is to make sure that our resume is tailored to what is required for this job. Okay. So to do that, we're going to go over to a website and the name of this website is free word cloud generator so free word cloud generator is going to help us showcase some highlights of what should be in our resume okay so we're going to paste all the description and all the requirements that the job is asking for and then it's going to spit back to us some key words that we can use in our resume so that we can qualify for this job. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to copy where it says, where will you have an impact? So I copy this and I paste it onto here, right? So the moment I did that, I did my visualize. And as you can see, came up with all of these keywords that is within the description of this job. And what I would do as someone who is applying for this job, I'm going to focus on some of the key things that are highlighted here, right? So it's talking about audits, databases, it's talking about maintaining databases, right? Talking about offering quality data, right? It's also another one. Data integrity is another one. So those are some of the things that are jumping out to me. So it, it allows you to focus on certain things. We know like database is a big thing. So we want to make sure that in our resume, in the area of skill set, that any provider database is mentioned as we apply for this particular role. All of these are some of the information that I need to include in my resume if I'm applying for this job, just to give you an idea. Okay. So that's one section. If I want to even do more, like See right here, it's talking about HIPAA and security requirements. So I will make sure to include knowledge of HIPAA rules on my resume because that's something they're going to be looking for in order for them to even call you for an interview. So the benefits with this position, I, I want to just bring us back again to this role. One thing that I really liked about this role is the fact that you get all the benefits and then there is tuition reimbursement. So should you be interested in going back to school, this position will be a good one because they would reimburse you for tuition up to a certain percentage, obviously. So that is definitely a plus for this role, okay? And with this position, you can expect to get paid between forty dollars to $50,000 from my research. So that is the salary for this role, okay? So the second role we're going to be exploring is with Boston Children's Hospital. So Boston Children's Hospital currently has a physician billing associate role open. And this role is a data entry role. And the qualification for this role, they want you to have a high school diploma or GED. One year of experience in multi-specialty physician billing or medical office setting is what they're asking for. And for this particular role, you can see on here, even though it's fully remote, they are asking for people to live in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, New Haven. So just keep that in mind as you do your application, okay? And for the salary of this role, you can earn between $30,000 and $50,000 per year, okay? 
So moving on to the third one, the third role we're going to be looking at is with this company called Main Health. The title of the role is Patient Financial Service Associate Hospital Billing. And with this role, it's a high school diploma or GED. They are asking for the other stuff are more technical things like keyboard, data entry skills required. So you can expect to earn between thirty and $50,000 per year. So those are the three roles I wanted to quickly come and share with you guys. I hope you find it helpful. If you have any questions for me, please leave it in the comments section. Subscribe to this channel if you've not subscribed already. Turn your notification bell on so you get notified when I do post new videos. Until next time, best of luck to you as you apply. Take care. Bye-bye.